Hello again. Today we are making, don't be scared, a snake. It is so cool. Okay, before we begin, guys, I almost have 200 subscribers. I'm so excited and I love you guys like my family. Let's get started. You're going to need yarn for your snake and then a hook to match. I'm using a 5.5 in Red Heart yarn. If you don't have embroidery eyes, you can use black yarn. You're going to want a yarn needle and some stuffing. I hate to say it, but we're starting with a magic ring. So I'm going to take my yarn, wrap it around. This is not a tutorial on a magic ring, but you can watch if you don't know how. Under the one, grab the second, twist it, and then try your best to chain one. Let's do a magic ring, and we're going to chain one. And then after that, you'll do four single crochets into the ring, remembering to work under that tail so four single crochets into the ring now we're going to pull the tail and pray that it closes which it did perfect and then i'm going to put the pattern in the top right corner but we're going to do a single crochet and then an increase repeat that twice for a total of six stitches increase means two single crochets in the same stitch so find your first stitch, it might be a little tight. Okay, but we got it. Find your first stitch, do a single crochet. In the next stitch, we're gonna do two single crochets in the same stitch, an INC, some might say, an increase. And repeat that a total of two times for six stitches. Looking good. Now we're gonna repeat this next thing a total of two times. We're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase in the third stitch for a total of eight stitches. So two regular single crochets. And then after those two, place your increase in the third stitch. After I'm done with this, do it again and I'll meet you there. Just so you know, I'm now using this white yarn as a stitch marker because I'm broke and I don't want to buy some. So in this next round, we are going to do three single crochets and then an increase two times for a total of 10 stitches. I think you guys got it. So I'm just going to let you go. So three single crochets and then an increase twice. And then it should be a total of 10 stitches, and I'll see you then. So you should have 10 stitches on there. Now we are just going to do a single crochet in each stitch for as many rows as we want until you want to do your color change. So just keep going around. Should be easy peasy, almost mindless. Use a stitch marker because it does help. And stop when you want to do a color stitch. I don't care how long you make it, okay? So this is your project. I am just a guide. So just keep going, and I'll see you later. Guys, I forgot to say, as you do your project, it helps a lot if you stuff it as you go. Because the snake is so long. You know what I mean? I mean, if you forgot, it's, it's okay. Because I, I didn't really even... Whatever, just stuff it as you go, okay? So I'm about to do a color switch. And I just looked this up on YouTube Shorts. And it looked really cool. So I cut my red yarn. I'm going to pull this pretty long there. Then I'm going to take my new color. Okay, look at here, look at here. See these two loops here? I'm going to shove my hook through those two loops. I hope this works out well. Guys, I've never tried this before. I'm going to get my white yarn ready. I'm going to pull it through the two loops. Okay, leave the tail pretty long-ish, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing this with the, for the first time with you guys. Then I'm just going to start going into the next stitch as we would and do our 10 single crochets like we've been doing. Guys, I really hope this works because it looked really good on the YouTube shorts. Okay, let me do a couple. Two is good enough. Let's see if this lady knew what she was doing. Then what she did was she just pulled the red, guys. That was it. Guys, that looked really good. Okay, so I'm going to color switch. And you guys just keep going around in rows of 10. 
and do as many stripes and color switches or whatever you want to do. This is your project, okay? I am just here to come along with you. Okay, you got it. Oh, didn't mean to do the little thing. Okay, you got it, you got it, you got it. Once you are satisfied with the length of your snake, let's start the head. The first round of our head is a little tricky because we're only going to be working through the front loops. So looking at the stitches, we have the back loop on the inside, front loop on the outside. So we are going to do four single crochets and then an increase two times for a total of 12 stitches. So through the front loop only, work four regular single crochets, front loop only, just this round, three, and then four, and then in the fifth stitch, we're going to place an increase in the front loop only each time. So two single crochets in the fifth stitch. Okay, repeat that again for a total of 12. Round two, we'll go back to crocheting in both front and back loops like normal, and we are going to do five single crochets and then an increase twice for a total of 14. So do five normal single crochets and an increase in the six, and I'll see you then. For the third round, we're going to do six single crochets and then an increase in the seventh, two times for a total of 16 stitches. So six single crochets and then an increase, a total of two times, okay? See you soon. And don't forget to stuff your snake as you go, okay? Because it will just make our life so much easier. For the next row, we are going to do seven normal single crochets and then an increase in the eighth two times for a total of 18 stitches. I bet you're catching on to a theme here. So in this next row, we'll do eight single crochets and then an increase for a total of 20 stitches because we'll do that twice. We'll do that twice. So eight single crochets, and then an increase two times. Do your 20 stitches and I'll see you. Now that you have your 20 stitches on there, we are just gonna do an easy peasy row of 20 single crochets. Nothing fancy, just do 20. Now we're gonna start descending. So we're gonna do eight single crochets and then a decrease two times for a total of 18 stitches. So do eight single crochets. Oh gosh, guys, this is gonna be boring. I'm trying to go fast, but every time I try to go fast, I always freak out for some reason with you guys watching me. And I, five, six, I think I'm on six. It's like I can't even like keep track because I, I feel the eyes on me. Seven, okay, I'll double count later. So that was eight single crochets. Then let me show you how I do my decrease. I learned it the other day. So it's called an invisible decrease. So through the next stitch, we're gonna go through the front loop only. So there's two loops on there. Shove your hook in the next hook. Then you're gonna grab the yarn and pull it through till you only have two things on there again. And then wrap around and pull through both. So that is how I'm gonna be decreasing. So do that eight or two times for 18 stitches, you got it. Then we're gonna do seven regular single crochets and then a decrease two times for a total of 16 stitches. Hopefully you're starting to see another pattern because this time we're gonna do six single crochets and then a decrease a total of two times for 14 stitches. Yes, 14 stitches, okay? Six single crochets and then decrease twice. Now you guessed it, we're gonna do five single crochets and then a decrease two times for 12 stitches. Okay, see ya. Now pause for one moment. So at this point, you're probably gonna wanna put your eyes on or embroider your eyes on Guys, put them wherever you want. Mine are like one, two, three, four, five stitches apart in like the 
One, two, three rows up. I don't care what you do. Just try your best and squish your snake so you can see what it look like when you stuff the head. And then also is now a good time to stuff it once you put the eyes on. Y'all, we are so close. So for this row, we are actually going to do two single crochets and then a decrease three times. It should be a total of nine stitches. So do one. I'll do one with you. And then you do the other two. Two single crochets and then a decrease. So I'm going to do my invisible. And just fast forward if you know it, okay? My invisible day grace. Do that a total of three times for nine stitches. Finally, we're on our last row because I'm going to lose my mind. We're going to do a single crochet and a decrease three times for a total of six stitches so single crochet decrease three times i'll see ya once you've done that cut the yarn fairly long because we're going to use it to sew it in like a foot and a half i don't know so we are just going to tie our yarn off so pull the, all that thing through and then connect the yarn to your yarn needle now for the my least favorite part sewing this closed i'm not good at it i don't really know how to do it or explain it but i just shoved my hook on the inside loop of each of these my did i say hook i hope i said needle so we're just going to shove the needle through each of those inside loops so that was one inside loop here's another inside loop guys we're going to do it all the way around and i'm just like not really good at this and i, I don't even know if this is on the camera Oh my gosh sorry guys okay so just keep going around in the inside sometimes they're hiding like i don't even know what i'm doing so and mine usually turns out decent so just try your best try your best inside loop inside loop i also saw this on a youtube shorts as well so okay inside loop inside loop I, I don't think that was an inside loop. Okay, so just keep going. And then when you're at the end, you should be able to pull it and it will like, it will like shut close. It's, it really is magic. Let me see how it looks if I pull it now. See, like it's like closing. Well, oh, you can't see, sorry. Yeah, I'm like still, okay. Still practicing this technique, but close it however you want. And then you are done with your snake, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, wonderful. Now, if you ever want to hide this long tail, remember, you can shove your hook around where the tail is through the thing's body. It's okay. The snake is okay. It looks like it hurts him, but he's fine. Pull it all the way through. And then you can cut the yarn and it will never be seen again. Can you guys believe how cute this guy is? Literally. Okay, well, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, I hope you enjoyed. And I love my subscribers. And if I never see you again, I hope you have a good life.